Hey and welcome back to Skyrim. My name is Quiddy and I'm here in the town center of I believe Falkreath. Might not be Falkreath because I still don't do not know any of these names of any of these places. Another main ones, where are we? Solitude, we're in solitude. And um, my phone's going mental again. Um look at these guys, they're actually doing some target practice. They're trying to prepare for the war. Uh, this is just this guy, Captain Aldis, just being lazy. Out with it. Oh, look at this! Free arrows! Yoink, 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 yoink. <laughs> I could just stay here all day. Thank you! Thanks for the arrow, mate. I could just stay here all day. It's like, the nick all these arrows. That's awesome. Last, uh, last episode, what we did is we tried to hold a peace council. Um, and we successfully did it, pretty much. All we need to do now is go and talk to the old guy, um, Agen, Ag, Agen, Ag, the, the, the old guy, you know the old guy, so we need to go speak to him, we need to go to his little temple at the top of the hill, Blaze, what are you doing, um, the guy just looks like Blaze, oh, hello kids, what the hell, uh, yes, we need to go there, <clears throat> and then hopefully, uh, Argander, there we go, I'm nearly right, so we need to go up to his house, uh, and we need to have a chat with him, <clears throat> excuse me, Jesus Christ, what have I eaten, a frog, um, right, we need to go up here to... Um, hi Rothgar, hopefully these two people will be together and they'll get along well and they'll come to some peace agreement and we can all get along so then I can capture a dragon, that's basically the plan guys so hopefully this peace council will either go really well and uh, yeah, or it'll go really bad and there'll be plates for it everywhere, there'll be, there'll be apples, there'll be tomatoes flying across the room and stuff and um, oh, I just pulled Jizago's tail like meh uh, right, up in here, guys. We need to go to up into High Rothgar. It's suddenly become night time. It was daytime, but it's suddenly become night time. Right, here we go, guys. High Rothgar. I hope they've got like a big, a big table we can all like gather around and stuff. I hope, hope we're not just like, you know, like when you sometimes get these family reunions at Christmas and they always bring like emergency chairs out and you always get like really small chairs and really high chairs. What if it's gonna be like that? You know, because there's only like three people, four people in here. They're not gonna be used to five or six. So we're gonna be all sat around like buffets and then like really high stools and stuff. Here we go. Four guys. The four guys in their dressing gowns. Mr. Argandar. Good day, sir. So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. That's right. I should not have agreed to host this council. Take my seat. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Don't worry. I'll get them to agree to peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? Season unending. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. Where's this table? And let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. Jolly good, let's go. Table, table. Have you got a seat for Jazago and all his armor? Uh, through here, I guess. Hello, table. Let's go find this table. I hope it's like a big... Rounds. Oh my god, look at this. We got proper stone tables, we got tank cards, we got a nice cozy fireplace. Everyone's here, the whole town's here. Zago, I guess we better take our seat. I guess this is my seat. Um, don't mind me, people, I'm um, Squiddies. Yep, that's me, hello. Uh, I'm just gonna take my seat here. Let's just uh, plop me um, plop my bottom down, there we go. And uh, so, how are we all doing? We all alright? Zago, take a seat, good sir. Don't, don't stand, come on. Um, I guess uh, I guess we're starting. Um, okay then. This is uh, it's a bit awkward. No one's talking. Just, um, <laughs> if this was a dinner party, they're not right good hosts, are they? You can't see this happening on Come Down with Me. If you don't know what Come Down with Me, it's an English show. Now that everyone is here, I'll tell you later, guys. Take your seats <laughs> so we can begin. Negotiate a truce. Here we go. We need to get our negotiating skills on. We have all come here in the spirit you of... insult us by brief uh, negotiation. George that didn't take long. He is usual. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. 
She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. Why if are they we not have sat to down? negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this no, matter. No, mate, no, I don't, I don't, I don't. Beard. The nerve of those Imperial bastards, eh? Who think that I would sit down at the same table with that? Thou more bitch. Either she walks or I do. That's not right, nice. Swearing isn't the way forward, good sir. You're right, the Thalmor have no business here. Uh, what's the harm? Besides, T Tullius doesn't really want her here either. Um, I don't know, do the Thalmor have business here? I guess they don't, but I don't want to be rude. What's the harm besides Tullius doesn't really want her here either? Hey, let's just say this. Maybe so, but bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Tullius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Why don't you speak to him? Why am I the messenger boy? Uh, I agree, this will set a tone for the whole negotiation. Elwyn should go, let Tullius have his way, he'll have to give... He'll have to give ground later. Do that then. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgement on this. Yeah, sit down. Come on. But sit down. Is to observe. Nothing more. We are not negotiating. Is that clear? Elfric, why so, Pasta? <laughs> After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your father. What's Jazar going to do? Is she supposed to be on our side? No. Not this time. Now that that's settled... Sit down! Sit your bottoms down. Jazar, girl, there's a seat for you there. Here we go. The only reason I agreed to attend this council... It's gonna be like Jerry Springer, this. Dragon Menace. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim and rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be able to resist. A temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons. Nothing more. That's me. I consider even talking to the Empire oh, a generous angry. gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Are we ready to proceed? Yeah, yeah, get on with it. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, this council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that Can you we? respect That's me, everyone. the spirit of High Hrothgar. And do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? Me! Let's get down to it. We want control of Markarth. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? Yeah. Jarl Elisif. General, this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Elisif. <laughs> I said I... Elisys, be quiet. Patrick, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? Ooh. I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely out of character. Yeah, what do you want in return? Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that... Traitor! This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Marker. <laughs> this would be a good time for me to actually know what the place is what. <laughs> Can you remember what the place I was in last time was called? Um, how about Riften? No, I like Riften. Winterhold seems a fair trade. Winterhold's not right good. Yeah, it's at Winterhold that I want it. In exchange for Markarth, the source of most of Skyrim's silver. Hardly. 
Riften seems like a better choice to me. Well fortified, easily resupplied from oh, the Oh, that's the one that you want. Plus all the mead we can drink. Okay, well you can have Riften then. Um, there I want it. Uh, right, you're right. Riften is a fair trade for Mark Alf. Whatever. I'm glad I you care. agree. I was starting to wonder whose side you were on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get on with it. You heard the man, Ulfric. Oi, whoa, We've whoa. made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragon Boy. What? I came here in good faith. And now it seems you held the Empire at every turn. What do you mean? I said one thing. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking Don't to say the I feel is this. just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothal. Skyrim will never again bow to your false empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. You always were a fool, Ulfric. Ooh. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreements? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Is he with you, Delphi? If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. Ooh, and go I on, advise Dolphin. you both to listen to what he has to say. Go on, Dolphin. Do rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Aldrin has returned. The world eater. Even now he Good devours dead. the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... <laughs> Just as much to lose here, Tullius. Yeah, Remember sit that. down. Stop being now, such a drama queen. God damn it, man. What the hell is your problem? Oh, I'm sure you the language today is honestly Damn revolting. Right you surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgear steps down, and Dengir of Stun resumes the Yarshu. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Finally, Although I can get to speak and say something. Hands. What say you, Dragonborn? I agree the Empire should turn over Falkreath. The Empire doesn't need to give up any more territory. Now this will be a time for me to be actually um, diplomatic intelligent, if that makes sense. Because <laughs> I don't know anything about what who's got what. Falkreath, what's that place which I don't like, which I went to yesterday? I don't know guys, I'm literally face palming right here. Uh, I agree, the Empire should turn over Falkreath. You should turn over Falkreath, or the Empire doesn't need to give up any more territory. Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Do, 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 Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Even the Dragonborn betrays Skyrim. Whoops. <laughs> These terms are not acceptable. You know that. I'm listening. Don't play dumb, Tullius. But this is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms from this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim, at least for the greater good, above our own interests. It seems we may have an agreement. Yay! Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Edmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. You both um. agree to this? I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though. Under the circumstances, 
But once Aldwyn is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember Evgil Islam. You should be pleased, Alicef. You have done well for yourself to the Empire's pet yard. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Ooh. Count on it. Ooh. Yay, we did it! Don't know what happened. Markarth, it's a heavy price Get Grabby is helping. Yeah, we did that lunch. I hope it Shout to call. Oh, Davi. You are with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Yeah, we captured Just dragon. Say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. How to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all? Well, that's an excellent question. You have Why is everyone looking at me? I'm looking at the floor. <laughs> ah, the Y can be of help here. I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the Library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed trove of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldwin has raised up. How does that help us, Esben? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. Mm. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. He will hear you wherever you may be. Why would he come when called to Swiddy? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Oh, I see. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Jolly good. So what's this dragon's name then, Esben? Ah, indeed. I'm no master. Like these, worthy gentlemen. But it is written here in the Ooh, scroll. Oh, we have a scroll of the dragon oh, thing. Da thing. Oh, Winged da the snow thing. hunter, as I read it. Oh, da thing. I'd give a week's pay to see the Lord Word of power learned. Snow called swap. dragon. Oh, da thing. Goodbye, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this party, this little soiree. Um, well, that was very um, boring and... Next deserves to die. Hi. Oh, it's all going about Pat again. We've already cleared this up. I'd give a week's pay to see the look on Ulfric's face. Bye, guys. I thought you had a nice time in this party. I really enjoyed you being our guest today. Bye. We have a nice journey home. God damn it. That peace council was boring as hell. I didn't even know what was being said. Everyone was talking about politics and how much land they wanted and which town they wanted to get. And I didn't know what was going on. I was just like, I don't even know. But anyway, back to the storyline. We needed to watch that all that cutscene uh, because we needed to get the uh, peace council sorted so we could tra finally get this trap. And here it is, guys. We need to set the trap in Dragon's Reach, I believe. Um, but my quest isn't active, so I don't know where I'm going. It is. Uh, prepare the trap for Ovahing. I think that's how you say it. Ovahing. Odahing. Ovahing. Dova King, Dova King. Do -do 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 -do. Where's my quest marker? I haven't got a quest marker on my map. Where is Dragon's Reach? I really should like study this map. Like I've played this game for like 60 episodes nearly. <laughs> there it is guys! Prepare trap for Ovahing! Dragon's Reach! Here we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna do this. We're gonna prepare the trap, we're gonna set loads of chains up. I think you need chains, maybe some nets, maybe some arrows, maybe some pizza. What do dragons eat? Just a couple of sheep, some deer, something that looks tasty. I think we'll be ready. I hope, um, hope Dragon's Reach is a suitable place to capture a dragon. That's what it was built for. Uh, but we're finally going to put it to the test. Um, I'm not really sure what I did and how my choices influence stuff that's going to happen in Skyrim. 
I heard him call out a load of names saying like, um, the new Yarl will be some of Blackbeard and blah, 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 and someone gets this amount of land and the stormtroopers get this amount. I don't even know. I don't know what's going on. I'm just here to do a quest, guys. I'm not. I'm not in it for the politics and all that jibble jabble. I'm here just to to fight and kill dragons and capture them and and let Skyrim be the peaceful place that it used to be without the dragons. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Finally gonna capture a dragon. Hopefully. Uh, we need to talk to the Jarl. He's actually got here faster than me for some reason. Hello, Jarl. We're ready, We're ready Dragonborn. Dragonborn. Just say the word. Are you ready to spring the trap on the dragons? As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are all. Ah, them chains. We wait on your word. Well, now we go. I'm ready. Let's go trap a dragon. My men know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Let's do this thing! Prepare the trap for Overhing. Another Call one. Overhing to Dragon's like Reach. Here we go, guys. We're gonna go outside on Dragon Reach's great porch. We're going to get the shout and yell to the skies. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what... I don't, I don't think we have to kill the dragon. We need the dragon to lure in Alduin. That's the whole plan of this situation. So here we go, the chains are oiled. Um wow, what the hell? Uh his men are ready, apparently. But there only seems to be There's just me and this guy. <laughs> me and this guy are gonna take on a big dragon, aren't we, mate? You ready? You ready to take on the dragon? Two of us. Jolly good. Let's do this guys, you ready? Okay, y'all, I'm I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna shout. Here we go. Shouts. Um. Where where is it? What 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 no! Oh, oh, oh dying! I've done it! Mr. Dragon! Mr. Dragon! Mr. Dragon! Here, boy! Here, boy! Here he is! Here he is, you were, were too curious. I don't, what, what, do, what, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I, what do I, oh, someone's just. What? Did he just pick up a soldier? Oh, look, he dropped him! Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa, what the? Okay, um. Uh, right, um. Uh, I guess it's the uh, Orcish Bow of Ice time, guys. We need to bring this sucker down. We need to bring Overhang down. Wow, he's gonna be a tough one. Blamin' hell. Right, we're gonna have to try and take this sucker down. This is gonna be one. Hell of a fight, I guess. He's on the side of the castle. He's not even getting any help with it. What the hell do we do? Oh my god, this is gonna. Okay, uh, do you wanna like. Shall I put Dragon Rend on him, maybe? Uh, Dragon Rend. There we go, we put Dragon Rend on him. We need to try and get our Dragon Bane out. Come on, land, 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 land. Here we go, this is our chance, guys. Like, what can we do? Oh, I guess that's what we needed to do. Maybe he needs to crawl inside. Come on, get inside. Get inside, get inside, get inside, dragon. Come on. Chains, 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 release the chains. There we go, we did it. Woo! That worked better than I thought. Holy moly. Good shot, guys. All right, mate. Mwah, hello. Mwah. What? Need. I think it's holding. Hello, oh, Mr. Overhang. To Ubonar. You went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. Yeah, you're a bit stuck out, you fella. In Sir Alduin, hmm? No doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Yeah, tell me where he is, dragon. 
What, what's, what's happening here? It's, it's Jazago killing that woman. That's right. Where's he hiding? Renik Vaza. An apt phrase. Alduin Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thum for myself. How is my thum? Is Many of us have begun to question Alduin's oh, lordship. Whether his thum was truly the strongest. I think Jazago's causing some trouble. Among ourselves, of course. Muni Maie. None were yet ready to openly defy him. Okay, you were telling um you were telling me where to find Alduin? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. Tell me where he is. He has traveled to Sovereign Guard to Stop. regain. Just Dago! Come on, Holy man! Why can't we just the souls of the mortal Zaga, dead. just stop messing about. I'm trying to request you, God damn it. Jealously guards. Um, Sovereign Guard, I guess. The Sovereign Guard is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Mindoran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. So Ulos Ophan <laughs> Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Uh, yeah, why not? Um, do you promise to serve me? Um, serve you? No. Need to aid if and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Um. Hmm, Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. What's that? Tell me what Only you mean. Only this. You have the Thurm of Adova, but without the wings of one. You will never set foot in Skaldafen. Oh, no. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Okay, but if I let you free, you've got to fly me. Um, fine, I'll set you free if you promise to take me to Skaldafen. Onikan Korav Gaid Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. Okay, I'll trust you. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Okay, you do that, Mr. Dragon. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Sounds like a good trade, Mr. Sir. Right. You you behave now. To killing women and stuff. Where's that woman gone? Have you killed her? You two made up. I don't know where she's gone. Uh, we need to free this dragon. Where's where do I free this guy? Uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. Eat him. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, tests on you. Purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Eat him. Gone, mage. Eat him. Do not test my promise to the Dover King. I assure Eat. you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large. No, you can't do that. I'm gonna have to set him free. This mage is gonna do secret stuff on him. There we go. Eat the mage. Eat the mage. What? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oi. Don't you fly off. He's got his head in the concrete. Oi. Dragon. Dragon. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover can? Um. Yeah. Why not? Let's go for it. Are you ready to see the world as only a Dover Yeah. Can? Why not? Let's go for it. Saran Uth. I await your command. I'm ready. Let's go. Zuprit of. I warn you, once you've flown the skies of Kaisal, your envy of the Dolph will only increase. Amativ. Oh my god, we're gonna ride a dragon! Let's go! 